I'm fishing with some live bait here. Fishing for some crappies and some bass. Not sure what we got here. No, nope, really big crappie, guys. Really big crappie. Oh, that's a tank. Look at that crappie, guys. Absolutely a beautiful Northwoods crappie here. So we're gonna be talking about hooks today, live bait hooks. Namely, five of the primary types of live bait hooks. And these are the only five live bait hooks you really need. And then at the end, I'm gonna give you a few applications for how to use each one. And hopefully we'll be catching some big crappies on some of these live bait hooks. So I'm gonna put that guy in the live well and we'll get to it. So starting with this hook, we're gonna go over a little terminology before we dive into this. So on every hook you have an eye, a shank, a bend, a point, a barb, and a gap. The gap is the distance between the shank and the point. So that's your basic hook terminology. So we'll start with this hook right here. This is hook number one. This is an octopus hook. Probably the most popular live bait hook out there. It's been around a long time. You can find them anywhere in any size, and it's an all around great live bait hook. One of the reasons is it's got a deep gap and you can hook a bait on there and that hook point stays exposed, which is very important when it comes to live bait. Okay, as you guys can see, one of my bobbers went down while I was talking. Now this is a circle hook. Now see how I did not set the hook on that fish? Did not set the hook, simply reeled down and that's all you have to do with the circle hook. There's no need to set the hook because it sets itself. And this is another beautiful crappie. Absolutely beautiful crappie. I got a little tangled up in my other line though. It's all right, we'll, we'll sort it out later because this is a stud. Guys, this is a stud. Oh man, <laughs> biggest one yet. That's probably a, I'm gonna guess, oh, he's gotta be pushing 13 inches. Just a really nice crappie. And I'll show you exactly why these circle hooks work so well. All right, guys, hook number two, we're gonna go to the circle hook. And the circle hook's something fairly new to freshwater fishing. They've been using circle hooks in saltwater for a long time, but circle hooks are designed to basically hook the fish by themselves. You don't have to set the hook with the circle hook. And in fact, if you do, you'll oftentimes lose the fish because it'll pull it right out of their mouth. Now, the key to a circle hook is having that, that point pointed back towards the shank of the hook. And that, what that does is it causes the hook to slide out of the fish's mouth until it gets to the edge and then it rotates and hooks them right in the corner. It's a really, really good design if you wanna catch and release the fish. And it's a much safer option than an octopus hook or a treble hook as far as safely releasing fish. And also it's a great hook for kids because kids don't have to remember to set that hook and it, they kind of hook themselves. So the key to using these properly is proper hooking of the minnow as well as with any other hook, actually any single hook. And I'll show you how to do that right now. All right guys, so the key to hooking any minnow with any single hook, including a circle hook, is to hook the minnow from the back towards the front, just under the skin, and then poke through like so. See how that minnow rides naturally with the hook point up? That way when a fish comes and eats it, that hook point is gonna be in position to hook that fish. Now, also, um, you're only hooking it skin deep so that minnow doesn't die. You don't wanna hook it too deep and kill it. And uh, the third thing is, you also aren't uh, gonna have that hook rotate back into your minnow. I'll show you what I mean. If you hook this minnow sideways, like many people do, like so, all right, looks good, looks about the same, should work. Well, what happens is, that when that minnow gets eaten, that hook rotates like this. It hooks back into the tail of the minnow and you no longer hook that fish because it's basically blocked by the minnow's body right there. So that's the key to hooking a minnow with a single hook or with a circle hook. All right guys, hook number three is the treble hook. Now the treble hook's been around a really long time. It was a popular hook, especially growing up for ice fishing and that kind of thing, for fishing pike and walleyes. It's probably my least favorite live bait hook now. And there's a couple reasons for that. Number one, it really weighs the minnow down so it can't swim as freely as a single hook. It's got a lot of weight to it and a lot of bulk. It spooks fish, the minnow isn't gonna swim as naturally. But number two, it also is really, really bad for the fish. 
If you're hoping to release any fish at all, a treble hook is not the way to go because if they swallow this thing, it's gonna tear their stomach out when you try and extract it. So there's no way to safely extract a treble hook and it, it really damages the fish. So if you're planning on any catch and release at all or you have a size limit where you have to release fish, I'd recommend going with a single hook. However, one exception, big pike and muskies, if you're using a quick strike rig, that's actually required in the state of Wisconsin uh, to use a quick strike rig on anything over eight inches. It does give you an advantage there because on a quick strike rig, you're literally feeling the bite and you're setting that hook right away. And all those big hooks definitely help hold a bigger fish like a pike or a muskie. So that's one, one time where this does work really well for a live bait hook. All right guys, Bob are down on the circle hook here again. Oh yeah, feels like a good one. This time I'm gonna try and get this rod out of the way a little bit. There we go. What do we got here? Oh, we got a little bass this time. Not a crappie this time, but we are fishing on a fishery that has a lot of very small largemouth bass, and there's actually no size limit on these little guys. So they're trying to get rid of these stunted largemouth, so this, this guy will go really, really well with my uh, crappies for dinner. So we're gonna put him in the live well. Okay guys, hook number four is a pretty cool hook. It's one I used with my dad growing up and it's called a bait holder. Now this hook is designed to basically hold a chunk of bait uh, such as a night crawler or a piece of bread bait or something like that because it's got little barbs on the shank right here. You can see I can't slide my hand down there. When you hook a crawler or a worm on there, it's not coming off. And these work great for drifting night crawlers in rivers, for trout. They work great under slip float for panfish. It's a good way to hold on to that crawler, make sure the fish gets the hook in their mouth. And uh, it's not got a wide gap on it, so I don't recommend it for, for using with minnows or big chunky bait. I definitely would recommend those if you're fishing crawlers or worms. Looks like we got another bite here, guys. Fish on. Oh yeah, another slab. Another slab. Oh, it's a beautiful crappie. I'm gonna flip this one. Yeah, <laughs> nice. What a gorgeous fish. These crappies are staging right now. They're coming uh, up into this warm water. It's pretty cold last night. It was down to 32. The sun's got out today and started warming up the weeds on this bank. And uh, these crappies are coming up here staging, getting ready to spawn. And they are suckers for a minnow on a bobber. So sometimes live bait is the best way to go and today is one of those days. All right guys, hook number five. And this is the one I was talking about. This is that kind of sleeper uh, live bait hook that's just kind of recently come out. It's made by Owner. It's called the Owner Tech Set Live Bait Hook. It's kind of a modification of an octopus hook and the modification comes right in the bend. So as you can see, it comes straight down, but then instead of making a big scoop, it kind of makes a, like a double, almost triple really hard turn and what that does is it leaves you an almost straight section right here for that bait to sit and it's a really good setup for live bait for uh, minnows because when you get that big round bend in there it's harder to hook the minnow this makes it easier to hook the minnow and it, you get more purchase on the minnow with that hook and that hook point is going to be in perfect position to hook the fish every time so these come in a whole bunch of different sizes i'll leave a link down below in the description for these but uh, great new live bait hook and I would definitely recommend picking up some of these if you do a lot of live bait fishing. There we go, guys. A little bigger fish here. Switch to a bigger minnow. See what I could come up with. I think this might be another big crappie, though. <laughs> Put a big sucker on, and sure enough, still catching slabs. Look at that. <laughs> oh, yeah. What a fish. These things are just in pre-spawn glory right now. And that is what it's all about. I love big crappies. And these things are a blast to catch. All right guys, so let's get into application. What would I use each one of these hooks for? So octopus hook, great hook for slip bobber rigging, where you got that minnow hooked through the back, dangling below the float. Uh, rigging, so you hook them through the mouth and you can pull them behind a lindy rig or something like that. Another absolutely great hook for that as well. Um, split shot rigs, you know, for uh, 
drifting through like a hole in a river or something like that. Super versatile hook. There's almost nowhere you can't use an octopus hook. Number two, circle hook. Where are you fishing where you need to release the fish? That's one of the best places to use a circle hook. If you're planning on catch and release using live bait, they're great for catfish. You can just set that rod up, let them run. I've been using them for crappies. In fact, I've got another video, I'll leave a link right here, all about how to use them for crappies like I am today. Um, you can use them for trout in streams. You can drift crawlers on them. Tons of places you can use a circle hook just to have that option available. And again, great hook for kids if you want kids to be able to just start reeling and catch a fish. They work for all kinds of live bait. Number three, the treble hook. Where can you use it? You can use it for minnows almost anywhere, and it does work. Again, caution, if you're planning on releasing fish, I wouldn't recommend using that treble hook. It does hook fish badly. Uh, quick strike rigging is another example, and oftentimes you'll see this on certain types of rigs as well for uh, trolling with live bait. So that's kind of your applications for the treble hook. The bait holder, pretty specific, like I said. Night crawlers, under floats, drifting, split shot rigs. Uh, you can, can't really use them drop shotting because the eye isn't really made for that. But uh, basically just drifting and float fishing for like trout, bluegills, that kind of thing. They really help keep that worm on the hook. Now before I go on to the last hook here, make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. I've got a ton of videos like this one out there and there's more coming up. So I really appreciate that. The last hook is that tech set by VMC. This hook is my favorite hook for fishing with minnows. So minnows, it, they just sit perfectly on that different shaped bend of the hook. And it's great for back hooking or lip hooking these minnows for rigging, slip bobbering, uh, any kind of minnow application. I love these tech set hooks and they will work for crawlers and uh, leeches as well. Drop shotting, if you're into drop shotting live bait, this is probably the best live bait hook for drop shotting because it just holds that, that angle perfectly on a drop shot rig. So that's pretty much it for the tech set. Another slab on here, guys. Really nice fish. Really nice fish. Oh man, what a toad. What a toad. <laughs> These things are just absolute egg gorge, egg wagon females right now. This one's too big to keep too. Gonna let this fish go, but oh man, what a horse. Absolute blast. Now that one was on the octopus hook, did its job. Absolutely perfect hook set on that fish with that minnow hooked just right. So if you guys wanna get out there and do some fishing, do some live bait fishing, you know what hooks to use now. We'll catch you later, get hooked up.